I'm Sylvia Kwambuka Masita, came from Kenya. I've been having a problem with my back, painting so much that I cannot paint, cannot walk for around 20 years. And this is my medical report from Nyamira Hospital. We are looking at this medical report from the Ministry of Health, Nyamira County Referral Hospital in Kenya. It's a medical report for Lady Sophia Kwamboka Achoki. This is what she reported with severe pain in her lower back. So they took CT scans of her lumbar spine, where they noted several abnormalities, among which they noted loss of the lumbar lordosis and multi-level loss of disc height. So she was diagnosed with lumbar spondylosis, as indicated, with a vacuum phenomenon in L3, L4, and uh, a small node at L2. And then they also noted multi-level disc bulges at L2, 3, at L3, 4, at L4, L5, and at L5, S1, resulting in severe stenosis of the lateral recesses bilaterally. And further still, they also noted she has got lateralisthesis. That is slippage of L3 over L4. And then also they noted she has got lumbar hypolidosis due to muscle spasms. Dr. Achoki, the radiologist, confirms this. Presently, Lady Sylvia wears a lumbar corset for support. It's a period of 20 full years of agony. Watch on the screen and see the difficulty she has got in rising up. The agony proves the pain that she has gone through. Look at the difficulty she has in her walking. She has come to bring her sorrow to the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. We found the friends of faith. Oh, we know a sort of shame. Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find the friends of faith? Jesus, be here. Jesus Christ is right now attending to the situation of Sister Sophia. Mending these bones of the back that are diseased, that are so painful for these 20 years. And now watch what is happening. Rise up and go, you are free. Lady Sylvia has been declared free and now she's rising up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. She's now taking off this lava corset she has been wearing for support. Hallelujah. Clap, clap, clap for Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Woo. Hallelujah. Woo. Amen. Jesus has done it for her. Look at her. She's walking very fast. She's new on here. My name is Sylvia Kwamboka. Asita from Kenya. I fell down when I was coming out of the vehicle. And then I had a lot of pain for so many years. When I was taking a CT scan, I was found that I had a disc product. Now the man of God has prayed for me. I I can stand, I can walk, and jump. Hallelujah. Who is this lady near you? This is my colleague. Okay, this year for She came and informed me. My name is Mary Mora Mangera. I'm a nurse working in Nyamira County Referral. She's my colleague. She has been suffering so much until sometimes we have to do her duties. When I came here, I had to tell her that there is God in the Kakande Ministries and she has already experienced it in the mighty name of Jesus. She is well. Amen. Yasa onko nyire. Umoko ngo na abu atoko kongo na na wenire. There's power in Jesus. Amen.
God be the glory. The 20 years of pain in the life of Lady Sylvia all the way from Kenya were put to an end after the prayer by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. The following day, she joyfully shared her testimony as you can witness. My name is Sylvia Pamboka Achoki from Kenya. I came to Kakande Ministry because of the problem I had. I had severe pain on my back. I've had it for 20 years. I started having that pain when I was coming from duty. Then I, I just came out of the vehicle suddenly with that force. I'm a nurse by profession. This pain has disturbed me for so long that I could not be able to perform my duties well. I enjoyed working in my tenant so much, but because of the pain, I was moved from that department to a, a lighter duties. I could not be able to walk. I could not be able to bend. And even sometimes I could reduce my meals because it would be very painful even to go to the toilet. It has given me a problem for so long. I started taking some painkillers, but it could not help me. So I went to the hospital and when the CT scan was performed, it showed how my discs in the back were light. I could not walk. It was paining until I could even use a walking stick. So our doctor suggested that I go for operation. So I continued with the physiotherapy and the painkillers until the time when the doctor suggested that he I will be using the corset, which is here, here. I have been using it until with my friend told me about the Kakande ministry. So on Saturday, when I came here, Professor Kakande prayed for me. And when he, he, he was praying, I felt business. I fall down and I heard him say, Wake up, you are, you are healed. When I woke up, I stood freely, and then I, I just, when, before waking up, I had some winds. Then I, I felt as if something was pulled from my back. And then I stood up, I removed the corset, then I started walking freely without any pain. And uh, now I can walk freely. I can uh, walk fast and even jump. My body is light. I walk freely. I, yes, I'm light enough. I can walk like a nurse. And even if I go to the service, I can perform my duty freely. So, I can see it freely without any support. I can stand. I even don't need it because I'm fully healed. <laughs> glory to God, glory to God for healing me. And I thank Prophet Kakande for praying for me. I thank God because I can bend. I can move sideways. Yeah, my body is light. You can see me. Yeah. I'm in to. Roy Rembo ya nyasa ata abueni. Yongo wasabondi bwe nsi obwa topo kongu. Aiche se prophet Kagande. Amo sabere. Egera nyar kubuena. Kena sawa. Thanks be to Jesus Christ, the healer. Let us give him praise.
Thanks be to Jesus Christ. My name is Martha Hamukwaya from Namibia. I'm having a problem of lower back pain for 30 years. And this is a medical report from my doctor, Dr. Makamba at the Comas um, the Medical Center. We are now looking at this medical report from ProScan MRI scan service. That's uh, in Windhoek, Namibia. It belongs to Mrs. Hamukwaya, mother. This is where she was referred by Dr. Makamba to have an MRI scan done of her lumbar spine. And as indicated, they noted several abnormalities, among which they noted small nodes in L4 vertebrae and at L3, L4, L4, L5, L5, S1. They noted she has got disc dehydration with diffuse disc barrage causing the thicker sac narrowing with stenosis of the spinal canal and bilateral lateral recess obliteration causing traversing nerve root compression in bilateral neuroforaminal narrowing causing exiting nerve root compression. They also observed she has got bilateral facet joint hypertrophy. Therefore, she was diagnosed with lumbar spondylosis, which is worse at the lower lumbar levels. And they also noted this spinal canal stenosis with nerve compression at L3, L4, L4, L5, and L5, S1 levels. Dr. Koenig confirms this. Now, Lady Martha has got so much difficulty in rising up. Look at the agon on her face as she's rising up, brethren. For 34 years, she's suffering with his back. She has got so much difficulty in her walking. Now, today is the day for her to be set free. Can we find the friends of faith? Who, who will all our sorrows share? Jesus knows our every Right now, Jesus Christ, the faithful friend of Lady Martha, is touching her situation in a powerful way. See how she's being driven, touched by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be here in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, bless your holy name. Woman, rise up and go, you are free. Brethren, this marks the end of the 30 years of agony in the life of this lady. She's rising up. The life of Lady Martha will never be the same again. Look at her face, full of joy. Glory be to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Lord, for intervening in my situation. Thank you, the Holy Spirit. Thank I'm now here. Give God glory. Bless. The Lord Jesus Christ instantly healed Lady Martha all the way from Namibia and she was totally set free from all pain in her body soon after the prayer by the man of God Prophet Samuel Kakande. Be blessed as you listen to her testimony when she's a new creature in Jesus name. My name is Martha Hamukwaya from Namibia. I was having a problem of lower back pain for 30 years. And I remember very well this time I was in grade 12. And I was struggling a lot because some of times I'm in the class, sometimes in hospital, or sometimes I just booked off to stay in the house with my family. And when I met the college, still situation just uh, threatening my life. Sometimes I can't attend the session when others are going to see the lecturers and tutors. And from there, after the college, I come to start my duty, uh, my profession as a teacher. Well, why? It's so difficult, which led me not to go to work each and every day. I just used to stay in hospital, and I just want to say thanks to the doctors. They try by their level best. They give me strong painkillers. Sometimes they send me to the physiotherapist so that they can relieve the pain. Last year, uh, in August, is whereby the situation gets worse. Uh, I visited the doctor, and they sent me to the CT scan. 
the doctor told me that, yeah, your problem is so big and we are admitted to you. Whereby I admitted in Lady Pohamba private hospital in Windhoek. When I went there, the doctor explained everything that I will be operated because the disc at my back is not function anymore and they need to put the artificial one. This is a letter from my doctor, Lady Pohamba, that is a sick leave note whereby stated that my sick leave must start on the 27th of August and must be ended on the 28th uh, September. They give me the instruction that I, I fall to all those years, that I, I can't uh, pick up heavy things, I can't raise my hands, I can't uh, do scooping or swiping. And we decided as a family, so that I will come and visit the Kakande Ministry to avoid that operation. Saturday, I managed to be here where I am today. I got a chance to be on a prayer line so that the prophet will pray for me. When the prophet uh, busy praying for me, I was standing, I just feel my body a bit light. And when I fall down, I just feel a movement somewhere here. And here the voice of the prophet said, Lady, rise up, you are free. <clears throat> the time I wake up is where I realize that my body is a new body, not the old one that I used to be with those 30 years. <laughs> and then now I can move I can move freely, I can move freely, and as a teacher by profession, I am sure that when I go back to school, I can able to help my young ones, that is my class, because I can sit, then I help my learner where they can, or if I'm going there, I can able to sit Freely, I can't find the position like the way I used to do. And even when I'm working, there's somebody who used to carry my bags. And for now, I can able to carry anything. I can able to carry anything. Then I can take all my stuff to school. I can't be late anymore. And if I want, I can run so that I will be there on time. I give thanks to Jesus Christ for healing me and thanks to Prophet Samuel Kakande to pray for me. Now I want to give a message to Namibia uh, in my mother tongue. Over Namibia, I want to give a message to Namibia. I want to give a message to Namibia in my mother tongue. I want to give a message to Namibia in my mother tongue. I want to give a message to Namibia in my mother tongue. I want to give a message to Namibia in my mother
your hands together for Jesus Christ. My name is Kingston Mutero. I'm a Zimbabwean living in South Africa. The problem that brought me here is lower back pain for 10 years. This is my medical report from Louis Pasteur Hospital in Pretoria, South Africa. We're looking at this medical report from the medical facility of doctors Mkabele and Indona Diagnostic Radiologists in South Africa. This medical report belongs to Mr. Motero Kingston. Here they took x-rays of his lumbar spine and they noted he has caught lumbar spondylotic changes at all levels with end plate sclerosis and marginal osteophyte formation. They also observed he has got narrowing of the intervertebral disc space at L4, L5, and L5S1, as well as narrowing of the neural foramen at L5S1. Further still, they noted he has got degenerative scoliosis. There is abnormal curvature of the lumbar spine, as being confirmed by Dr. Ismail Fazana. Now, the gentleman, Mr. Kingston, has got difficulty in rising up as you're watching. He has got difficulty in walking. He has brought his sick situation. 10 years to the Lord Jesus. Watch attentively and see the power of God has touched him. Yeah. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Watch brethren and see. No one is touching him. But the healer himself is attending to his situation. You are free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mr. Kingston is now rising up. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Kingston Mutero. I'm from South Africa. I had this pain of lower back pain for 10 years. When man of God was praying for me, I can't explain what I was feeling. I just see myself lying down. And now I feel I'm okay now. See, I'm walking again. Mr. Kingston, all the way from South Africa, is among the beneficiaries of a prayer made in faith by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. He received his instant healing, and the following day, he came back to testify to God's glory. My name is Kingston Mutero. I'm from Zimbabwe, staying in South Africa. The problem which brought me here to Kakande Ministries it's my lower back pain. This problem started 10 years ago. This pain, it was not much. It started to, to be very painful. It's last year. Then I have to go to doctors. Then the doctors told me, this lower back pain, it might cause you at the, on a wheelchair. I was not able to sit for a long time. I was not able to walk for a long distance. So it started to affect my work. My friend showed me about uh, Kakande Ministries. Then I started to watch Kakande Ministries on uh, YouTube and Facebook. So then I decided to come to Kakande Ministries. Then by the grace of God, I was on the prayer line. And Prophet Kakande prayed for me. I was healed. I was healed, people of God. When Prophet was praying for me, I was feeling heavy at my back, especially in my shoulder side. But from there, I didn't, I didn't see anything. I just see myself lying down, waking up. But from there, the pain was gone. It was gone. I can sit for a long time without, without changing positions. I can sit without changing positions now. I can still steal for a long time. As I was testing myself yesterday in the service, I can still live in the whole day. I was healed yesterday. And I can walk. I tested myself. I woke up to KFC in town. I can walk faster. I can even, I can even run. 
I've got no problem with my back now. I thank God for the healing. Thank you, Prophet Kakande. Message to my fellow Zimbabwean, I'm a Shona speaking. Do not be a Wangu Arkumba, Wakuma Wangu Running Wangu Arkumba, Panesa Arku Zimgan Miri. We are to Uganda, Kuna Prophet Kakande, Kuna Prophet Kakande Ministries, come for the healing in South Africa to my friends, my brothers, my sisters in South Africa. For those ones who have got problems, come to Prophet Kakande's Ministries. You get your healings. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you for the healing. To God be the glory. My name is uh, Sophia Wagichurunjagi from Kenya. I have got difficulty in sitting, standing, and squatting. I went to Eldoret for MRI, and they found that I had uh, lumbar spondylosis disease. This is my medical report from Eldoret MRI Center. Here on the screen, we are looking at this medical report from Eldoret MRI and Diagnostic Center. This is where Dr. Kilonzo referred Lady Sophia Njagi to have an MRI study done of her lumbar spine, whereby they noted several abnormalities, among which loss of the normal lumbar lordosis, together with anterior osteophytes with modic 2 end plate changes and end plate irregularities. So with all this, she was diagnosed with lumbar spondylosis as well as mouth level degenerative disc disease. They noted she has got diffuse disc protrusions at L2, L3, causing bilateral neuroforaminal stenosis, spinal canal stenosis with nerve roots impingement. And also they noted she has got diffuse disc protrusions at L4, L5, and L5, S1 that are contacting the exiting nerves, as confirmed by Dr. Rose Nyabanda. The man of God is now stretching out his hand in prayer for her to be healed from the pain in the back, the pain in the knees. And she's touched by God's power when the flesh goes. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Woman, rise up and go, you're free. This is the day for Lady Sophia. She's now rising up in Jesus' name. Remember, she has been wearing a knee brace for support. Now is the right time to remove it because Jesus Christ has taken away her pain. Thank you, Jesus. She's free. Hi. I was sick, you healed me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You My name is Sophia Wagichu Unjagi from Kenya. I became sick. I couldn't squat, sit, or do anything in my house. But when the prophet prayed for me, the pain has gone, which was here on my knee. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I can squat. I can sit, not the way I used to stand. I'm healed. Now you can go back and do your work. Amen. My name is Josephine Wamboa. I'm from Kenya. I'm a police officer. I have a problem of lower back pain, which has taken four years. This is my medical report, MRI report from Nakuru Scan Lab. 
right here, we're looking at this medical report from Scan Lab Center in Kenya. It belongs to Lady Josephine Momboa Wamboa. This is where she went, having been referred by Dr. Josephat Okemwa to have an MRI done of her lumbar spine, for she was complaining of pain that is so chronic in her lower back with left lower limb radiculopathy. So when they took this MRI study of her lumbar spine, they noted she has got posterior disc bulges affecting L3, L4, and L5, S1, causing anterior thicker sac and tension with bilateral narrowing of the neuro exit foramina and compression of the left exiting nerve roots. They also noted she has got bilateral facet joint arthropathy affecting L5, S1, one has been confirmed by Dr. P. Bombuna, the consultant radiologist. Now, Lady Josephine, the police officer, has come to the Lord Jesus Christ, received healing. She's got difficulty in walking, difficulty in standing for long, bending. Can you find a friend so faithful? Oh, where are our sorrow shed? Jesus knows our This is what Christ Jesus paid for on the cross at Calvary, and now he's granting it to his friend, police officer Josephine from Kenya. This is her day to be free and free indeed. See what Jesus has done. It's done already. Hallelujah. Look at the lady. She can now march. I'm in. Hallelujah. <laughs> The joy. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. This is the joy of salvation. The pain has gone. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The pain has gone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing my sister. Thank you, Jesus. This is my young sister. Brethren, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Have a seat, have a seat. Jesus. So, officer, explain to us. What is it exactly? My name is Josephine Wambua. I'm from Kenya. I'm a police officer. Uh -huh. I have been suffering for so long. The pain has taken four years. It has interfered with my work. When it comes to field work, I usually send my deputy because I cannot work for long. I cannot stand for long. Mm. Now, I can even run, you, you see. The man of God has prayed to me, so I'm healed. <laughs> when the man of God has prayed for me, I feel dizziness, a little dizziness, then uh, the pain disappeared. Yeah, so I'm so happy. You as a police officer, <laughs> what technique is that? <laughs> Uh, as a police officer, what I can say is that uh, Jesus is the healer. So I call upon all police officers who are suffering in secret uh, to take courage and come. I'm a kamba. Mbaito, okai, mubo wajewe, kuku wakakande kuyo bosio. Kwa uwe, onayenyu ni mubo, uwe, akamba la muiva ni mubo, uwe mwika make. Mwike makie. Ngaiye kuwa. <laughs> to go be the glory. Amen. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. When the sun sets you free, you are free indeed. Police officer Lady Josephine from Kenya received an instant healing after the man of God Prophet Samuel Kakande praying for her. The following morning, she joyfully shared her testimony to God's glory. Praise be to God. Amen. My name is Josephine Wambua. I'm from Kenya and I'm a police officer. I have a photo here to confirm that I'm a serving police officer of Kenya. You can see my photo here. 
This one I was taken two years back. <clears throat> I'm a superintendent of police. That's my rank. Those who are from Kenya, I know you can understand. The problem which brought me to Kakande Ministries is uh, chronic back pain uh, since 2021. The pain was on the left side and it was too severe that it had affected my performance as a police officer, I was expected to walk for a long time, but I could not make it. I could not sit for long. I could not bend. So most of my uh, duties were used to be performed by my deputy. I had gone to several hospitals, all in vain. They used to give me very strong painkillers, which did not help me until two weeks back. My doctor sent me for a MRI scan. I went to Nakuru lab scan. So he gave me two months. If it fails to heal, he said, I love a spinal uh, surgery. Those were four, four years to date. Because I had heard of Kakanda Ministries, I decided I should come for prayers. We came here on uh, Thursday. Then Saturday, I was lucky enough. I was placed on the prayer line. The prophet of God, that is Samuel Kakande, prayed for me. I didn't fall and he told me, you are now free. <laughs> the pain on my back left instantly. I was healed and I am now free. I can walk. You can see I'm not limping. When I came here, I was limping, but now I can walk. I can bend. I can march like a police officer. I'm now free. The doctor had told me the only exercise which was allowed was walking only and swimming. And instructed me in case um, in my office, I should only sit for only 45 minutes and I wake up. I walk for 10 minutes and I, I come back. But now, see the way I'm raising up. I can sit and I can wake up without any difficulties. Praise be to God. I know I'll be a testimony to my fellow police officers. If you are a police officer, please, and you are suffering, just come to Kakande Ministries and you will be healed. Glory be to God. <clears throat> And to my people from Mukambani, Maito, Maketui, Mama Koene, and Mama Sako. Okay, Kuka Kakande Ku was here. Okay, Mobowe. We got a talk and one Mobongo, Nyaneva, and the Mobo. At I were yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thanks be to Jesus Christ, the healer.
put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Thank you, thank you. My name is Sylvester Chibo Marome. I'm coming from Germany, but originally from Kenya. The problem brought me here in the Kakand ministry. I have low back pain, and the low back pain has radiated for my two both legs down. Sometimes they get swollen, and I've gone to the hospital. They sent me to orthopedy. I got some dust. It's now a medical report from the radiology. German in Munich, radiology. Written in German language. Mr. Sylvester is presenting his medical report written in German language, explaining his condition. And now he has got difficulty rising up, standing for a long time, squatting for a period of nine years. The man of God is offering him this prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Behold what Jesus Christ is doing, touching him with his healing power. Behold, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You have done it for Mr. Sylvester. He's now free. Sylvester, all the way from Germany, received an instant healing after the prayer by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. He was totally free from all pain, and the following day, he came back to testify, healed and free to God's glory. My name is Sylvester Chibo Marome. I'm coming from Germany. The problem brought me to Kakande ministry. It's a lower back pain which has persisted for nine good years. May, June, I used to have severe pain from the low back pain, whereby it has radiated also my legs, both right and left, to be swollen and to be so heavy. So at my working places, I have problem with transporting things because I was working as model house. You have to take some fenster to fenster, which is window to window. I decided to visit a doctor and the doctor said I have to go for MRI. I did so. And after that, I went to get some recept whereby I went to Tugimaende Otopeti, whereby I got these things which I have on my hand. These are for the shoes, to put in my shoes, to help me walking, because I used to walk without, and it was radiating problem with walking. I used to walk like a duck, because it was like painting my shoes. So if I put this, it helps me to walk on ISIL. So here are my medical documents, which I have got from my hospital, from the radiology Mushen Ost, but it's written in Dutch. The hospital is orthopedic gemeinschaft praxis. That is stated in Domenke Schattenhofer Straße in Munich, Ost. And my name is Sylvester Chibu Marome. Here is the MRT result which I got from the doctor. He told me I have to have this arthritis, we call it arthritis, which in German is arthrose. I came on Monday morning 
and I was lucky on Saturday. I was prayed by Prophet Samuel Kakande. I watched from the eyes. I was just shortly walking and I fall down after walk up. He said, walk up gentlemen, you are healed. So I walked up and that was my rejoicing. After walking up, there was nothing, was nothing like in my feet or my waist. I can walk like a German king. <laughs> yeah, you can see me walking, I think. Still, I can joke like the way we joke from the snow. You see, joking, squatting, and that's it. The opaque shoes, no, I have no need of them. This is not mine anymore. Thank you. So I thank Jesus for healing me, and I thank Prophet Samuel Kakande for praying for me. I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now I will give information for my Kenyan people first. I'm choni by language. A choni anzangu na muhuma mwende Uganda Kampala. Kuna buwana Jesu kuko are anaifa prophet Samuel Kakande. Anadi magos makongumuri gona gwa choni. Jaribuni kukala munda kosa kudaute atu. Atu osini atu. Sfikiria ni muiru. Ukamba ukalaka di makuponya, anadi makuponya kwa uwezo wa mwenyezi mulungu. Na akaribisa osi achonyinyosi. Asante. Now, I speak in German language. Alle my Leute in Deutschland. Ich lade dich alle hier in Uganda Kampala. In Uganda Kampala gibt's ein Prophet Samuel Kakande. Er kann das Vollmacht der Heilige Christ von lieber Gott. Und wir alle wünschen ihm weiter, machen was er will oder was Gott hat ihm geschenkt für die ganze Deutschland. Jeder hat die Krankheit. Er Invited to Kakande Ministry for the healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Thank you. Thanks be to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Pastor Robert Musembi from Kenya has got difficult and standing bending because of pain in the lower back, pain in the knees. Healing is going on for him in Jesus' mighty name. For six years he has suffered with this pain. The power of God has touched him. What's up, you are free. Thank you, Jesus. Asante wana Yesu. Umeni okoa. Umeni ponya. Asante. Prayer for healing for Mr. Dira Sagei from Botswana who has come with pain in the back for three years. See, Jesus has made him good. Healed. Hallelujah. I'm healed. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm Mr. Healed. Kamanyane, all the way from Botswana, received an instant healing from the pain.
men in the back radiating down to the legs. The Lord Jesus Christ made him a new creature and the following morning he came back to testify healed and free to God's glory. My name is uh, Dirata Rai Khamanyani. I come from Botswana. Uh, the reason I came to Kakande Ministries is due to lower back pain. This pain started in 2021. So it has been there for three years. This pain changed my life. The way it started was that in 2021, I started having chest pains and back pains. I was in and out of the sick of. I would sometimes be given three days and then go back to work, but it didn't get any better. And then I had to go and see a physician who referred me to have an MRI scan. And then with that uh, MRI scan, I was sent to a specialist. He told me that, uh, Mr. Kamanyani, uh, your problem is uh, going to be chronic. I can't give you anything except uh, painkillers. But uh, brethren, that pain had changed my life. I had started to realize that whenever I was getting out of bed, I could experience a weakness in both my legs. It was also now starting to impact uh, my life. I work as an uh, accountant. I have to sit for a, a long time. And sometimes I would be sitting in meetings and some of those meetings would be very important meetings like board meetings. I remember one time I had to, to get out of a board meeting because of the pains and I had to go straight to, to see the doctor. So even at home, it was impacting my life, my social life. Uh, I was just becoming very grumpy. Physical working was becoming a problem to me. And uh, working for a long time, bending to do some gardening was, was becoming a problem to me. After getting to the doctor, the specialist, he prescribed the painkillers. I opted for physical therapy, which also was not working. I just could go to the physio, but the result was, uh, was not coming. Ultimately, I tried exercise. Exercise also did not work. 2023, now the, 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 the pain started really now being serious. It started to really persist. Here I have my medical report from Triple L. We're looking at this medical report from Triple L Diagnostic Imaging Center. That's in Kaporone, Botswana. This medical report belongs to Mr. Dirasakei Kamanyane. He was referred by Dr. Lekutule to have this x-ray done of his lumbar spine because he had this history of pain in the lower back. So upon taking this x-ray, they noted several abnormalities. As you see them outlined here, they noted he has got loss of normal lumbar lordosis. They noted he has got thoracolumbar scoliosis, that sideways curvature of the lumbar spine. They noted he has got generalized osteopenia, that's bone loss and osteoporosis together with lower lumbar spondylosis. So this combination is what was causing him the severe pain that he had in the back. He has told us for a period of three years, and this report being confirmed by Dr. Josiah, the consultant diagnostic radiologist. In the meantime, after hearing about the Prophet Kakande Ministries, I continued to watch it on YouTube. And I saw people getting healed right in this uh, ground here. And I said, you know, one day will come and I will surely go to Prophet Kakande. But in the meantime, I was having severe pain on my back. But ultimately, I reached the uh, Kakande Ministries. And on Saturday, that's when I met uh, the man of God, Prophet uh, Samuel Kakande. And that's when he started moving. And then I also started just moving without uh, really being myself, moving myself. And then later on, he did like this. That's when then I felt suddenly that... That pain had gone. I can walk like this, as you can see. I used to suffer whenever I wanted to walk quickly. I can bend. It used to be a challenge, particularly that I like to do gardening. I have a garden in my home. Whenever I come from work, I would uh, want to go to the garden, but as you can see, even sitting, I can stand. 
with ease. And all I can say is that, brethren, there is God in this ground. I always uh, watched it on YouTube, but experiencing it live is something else. And I say to everybody, if you are suffering, particularly with this back pain, your healing is here. It doesn't take anything. It takes you just to, to travel. And your faith. I believe faith is something that you crucially need for it to bring you here. I would now want to talk to Batswana in my own language. Batswana bitch, kia kale mpona mo televisione. Men na hala se dika sele bolela njogori. Kia izi lele ba nzi gori la shokola. Le na le bo thata bo ne ba mo kwaatla. Le na le bo thata ba gori kale khone go ina ma mehela ka le mpona ibile ke tla le bontsa. Ke fodile ke ne ke na le bo thata ba gori ne ke sa khone go tsamaya sentle ne ke sa khone go nna ne ke sa khone go diraeng. Mehela ke tla le bontsa mo se ba kentse gore tle le khone go dumela kana ga go dumela go bona ke gone go dumela. I thank God for healing me and I thank God for using his servant prophet Samuel Kakande to pray for us. And I pray to God that he give him a long life so that he continues in his glorious work. Together, Thank let's you, give Jesus. God glory. And glory back to God. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Rosa Pango, you're free. Lady Anna is free from the pain in the back. She has suffered for seven years. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The power in the name of Jesus Christ flushed out all the pain in the life of Lady Anna from South Africa. The moment the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, prayed for Lady Anna, all pain was no more. The following day, she came back to testify, healed and free in Jesus' name. My name is Anna Palani from South Africa. The problem that brought me here was um, lower back pain. I had that problem for seven years. It started as a minor problem, but it got to where I had to see the doctor about it. I was given medication, which couldn't help. And then I went back for another opinion wherever I was sent for an x-ray, and this is my medical report. The name of the radiologist is Trirad. We're looking at this medical report from Trirad Diagnostic Radiology that's in South Africa. This medical report belongs to Miss Anna Mahohole Falane. This is where she was referred by Dr. E. Radeka to have her examined. And here we are being given the findings that upon examining her lumbar spine, they noted loss of lumbar lordosis. They noted margin anterior vertebral and osteophyte formation. And also they noted disc space narrowing at L3, L4, L4, L5, and L5, S1 levels, together with facet joint arthrosis affecting L4, L5. Therefore, she was diagnosed with lumbar spondylosis and they also noted evidence of muscle spasms. This report is being given by Dr. Noliolo Mahlati. I was given medication again, which didn't um, help me. And I was advised by my doctor to go for the physiotherapist, of which I did. 
and then to exercise more often, but they didn't help. This sickness affected me mostly at my work because I'm required to stand for long hours at home as well because I didn't get to do my chores to the fullest. And I could not bend. I could not bend like this. I couldn't squat. I couldn't lift my legs like I'm doing now because the pain could be so severe. For seven years, I've been suffering from this pain. I decided to watch the ministry through YouTube. And then I, I saw people getting healed, those who had the same problem like mine. So I decided to come and receive my healing and my breakthrough as well. So we came here on Thursday. Fortunately, I was uh, put on a prayer line. And when the man of God, may, Prophet Samuel Kakande prayed for me, I just made sure that I, I looked him in the eyes. And when he raised his hand to, to pray for me, I felt just like I was flying and some, I felt like something is pushing me up. And then one moment I saw myself on the ground. When I rose from there, I just tried to check the pain, but the pain was gone. I couldn't walk like fast. I couldn't lift my, my legs. I couldn't squat. Now I can. I couldn't run like now I'm doing. I can see it now properly with no problem. I can stand without a problem. Yeah, I thank God for healing me. I thank Jesus Christ for healing me. I thank Prophet Samuel Kakande for praying for me. And I just want to say to my people there in South Africa, Basutu Bahesu, in Uganda, Kampala, Honali Prophet Samuel Kakande Afodisang. Honali Prophet Samuel Kakande Asebediswankin Tatim Dim Kimurana Jesu Hufodisa. I thank God for everything that happened here and I thank him for the teachings that we received here. Thank you. God be the glory. And this lady being set free in Jesus' name, Lady Vonga from Australia, she has come with disease of the neck, of the back. That's something called straightening. She came with so much difficulty in walking, turning her neck. Now, see, as the prayer goes on for her, walk. Thank you, Jesus. There is no sickness that the Lord Jesus Christ cannot heal. Nance Marvelous from Australia had severe pain in the back, the head, and the neck. But after the prayer by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, all pain was over. The following day, she came back to testify and give God glory for her wonderful healing. 
praise the Lord. My name is Marvelous Wongai Chikosi. I'm coming from Australia. I'm a registered nurse by profession. Uh, the problem that brought me to the Kakande Ministries was the problem of uh, severe neck pain and lower back pain for the past four years. It just started as a mild neck pain for my neck. And then I developed a severe headache. I just took it as one of the headaches. It lasted for two weeks. I didn't get better. So I decided to go to see my GP. So when I went there, they just thought maybe it's migraine. So they put me on anti-migraine medications. Uh, instead of helping me, they were just giving me nightmares. So I stopped them. I went back again. My GP decided to do MRI of my brain. And there was nothing that they could find. So the headache continues regardless of that. He decided to treat me as intracranial hypertension. I took the medication for a few weeks. Nothing was changing. My head was still aching. My neck was still painful. My back was still painful. So they did the CT scan and they found that I have um, a little bit of uh, calcium collection on my uh, C2, C3 levels. That's the vagal spine two and three. On that medical center, I became a frequent flyer. I was there almost every two weeks just to see if I can get a solution. Unfortunately, nothing worked. For my back pain, they just encouraged me to do some exercises, which was not working either. I couldn't sleep at home. I remember getting up a few times during the night just to walk around to try to relieve the headache. I managed to get into a private neurologist so she decided to give me a neuropathic pain relief, which also worked as muscle relaxants. But the neck pain just kept on getting worse. I could not sleep at night. I lie down on my back, the neck gets worse. I dreaded to go to bed because it was so traumatizing just to lie down and think that I'm not going to get any sleep. The best I could do was only maybe three hours per night. I became so exhausted. In the morning, I would get up so tired. I couldn't get out of bed the normal way. I had to roll myself on the side, sit at the edge of the bed, had to move my neck around a few times. Even before that, I could get up. My husband knows this. Before he leaves for work, he would make sure that he gives me a heat pack and hot water bottle. I'll put the hot water bottle at the back and the heat pack around my neck, just so I can relax and get up. I usually take my son to school in the morning. It was so hard for me. I didn't even have energy to do the things that I had to do, even the things that I enjoyed doing. Because of those medications, they make you very tired, very sleepy. I went back to my neurologist. I told her, I can't do this anymore. This is too much. I can't take these medications. Or she said, okay, let's change them maybe to three times a day. At least we can spread out the dose. They did. But still, my God, nothing was working. So this is the, the CT scan of the cervical spine that they did. So this was done at Lumas Medical Imaging. We're looking at this medical report from Lomos Imaging, that's in Australia. This medical report belongs to Lady Marvelous Chikosi. This is where she went with a complaint of pain in her upper part of the cervical spine, that is the neck. So when they took this CT scan study of her cervical spine, they noted straightening of the cervical lordosis and also they noted degenerative facet joint arthropathy at C6 stroke C7 and also at C7 stroke T1 together with soft tissue calcification within the paravertebral musculature level of C2, C3 that appear to be long-standing. So a combination of which was what was causing her the pain that she had in the neck and this report was electronically signed by Dr. Peter Zeng. Then I decided to go and see a physiotherapist. We did a few exercises for a few weeks, but nothing was working. I just called them, I said, I can't do this anymore. Please cancel my appointments. 
I did massage for a few times. Nothing was working. I decided to quit. I am a neurology nurse. I've done this for the past 19 years. I know what it means to have those symptoms. I could get pins and needles running down my arms when I sit down. I have numbness when I sit down. I can't walk for too long. I start to have sciatica. I can't sit for too long. I get numbness in my feet. Climbing up the stairs was a nightmare for me. I had to do one leg at a time, one step at a time. I felt like I was a 90-year-old. We've been following Prophet Kakande for the past two years now. Then we decided to come. I said, we just have to go. We decided to come here. So when we came here, I was placed on the prayer line by the grace of God. And the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, laid hands on me. I felt so like a jellyfish. I didn't even have energy. You can see the way I was floating. My body just flopped. And when he said, rise up, walk, walk, the first thing I thought of doing was to turn my neck. When I turned my neck, I realized I could turn my neck without pain. The pain is gone. And I thank God for healing me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I went home where we live in the hotel, there are stairs. Before my healing, I would avoid climbing up the long stairs. My husband knows this. I would make sure I go where there are only a few stairs. But when I went back home, I realized I could climb up one step at a time, not like the way I used to do. I climbed up, my God, no pain. I used to sleep with just a small pillow because the big ones used to make me so painful. So I lie down with a big pillow, I had no pain. I woke up the normal way. I, had, I didn't have to wait for a, a while before I could get up. I thank God for healing me. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> These are just flat shoes, but I don't even remember the last time I wore them because I couldn't, but now I can. I can even walk straight, just like this. Before I used to walk like this because everything here was very sore, but now I can walk. I don't feel any pain. I don't have electricity running down my legs anymore. When I sit down, usually when sitting, I would sit. I would make sure I reposition the chair so that I would sit down like this. And then standing up was a problem. I have to shovel myself towards the edge of the... And then I would stand. The first thing I would do is to rub my lower back because it was so painful. Then I stretch out. Then I can walk. At work, people used to know that Marvelous brings a hot water bottle for my back. They used to ask me, what's wrong with your neck? I would just say, oh no, I'm just trying to keep myself warm because I didn't want people to know that I was sick. But thank you, Jesus, I'm healed. <laughs> I can sit just like that. I can stand up easily without any pain. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I can turn my neck, no pain. I can bend. I can do this without any pain. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Just like that. It was so hard for me to do this. Even the exercises that they gave me, I dumped them because they were so painful. But now I can. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your servant. May God continue to keep him well. I thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, men of God, for praying for me. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. So I just want to give advice to my, my friends, colleagues, my community back in Australia. Uh, most of my com Zim community are nurses. I just want to tell you that there is healing in Jesus' name. There is healing at the Kakande Ministries. There is healing by the blood of Jesus Christ. And God is using his servant in Kampala, Uganda, Prophet Samuel Kakande. Don't be shy. Come for your healing. Jesus is still in the business of healing. Don't look at your next door neighbor because they don't know what you're suffering from. Here I am. Thank you, Lord. As a nurse, sometimes we take these things for granted, but there is healing in the name of Jesus Christ.
There are things that are beyond medicine. Sometimes we think there is no solution because we've exhausted every avenue. But Jesus Christ is healing people. He's still in the business of healing. And in the Kakanda ministries, there's healing. Jesus is still using his servant, Prophet Samuel Kakande, come to Uganda, Kampala, and you receive your healing. And in Jesus' mighty name. So I come from Zimbabwe. I just want to give advice to my people. I speak Shona. You are very close to this place. Muripa Uganda. Whatever problem you have, we are muzo poreswa. Because of positions. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. together for Jesus Christ. As Mr. Patrick Mayaka from Kenya receives healing from this pain, he has suffered for 22 years in the back and in the legs. Rise up and go, you're free. It is done. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for setting him free. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Mary Catherine Aisha from Kenya has got pain in the right ankle. Even the neighbor is touched. As Lady Rusi from Kenya receives healing, she has come with pain in the legs. Go, 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 go. Clap, clap for Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. You healed me. Mr. Jeremiah Musa from Kenya is being healed from the multiple joint pains due to osteoarthritis. He has suffered with this pain for 30 years, but now see the healing touch of Jesus Christ upon him. Rise up, gentlemen, you are free. Walk, walk, sir, you are free. He said, Jeremiah has been set oh. free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for healing me. Thank you. Thank you. Give God glory.